Welcome to episode 95 of the Hoop Threads podcast here with another prospect spotlight uh, with 2027-66 Wilson High School and Upward Stars uh, wing Joshua Leonard. Josh, how's it going, man? It's going very good. All right, brother. Well, let's just get to it. Um, tell me uh, tell me about your first dunk. Tell me what that was like. Uh, my first dunk, it was like in like sixth grade summer. It was a great, like great feeling to actually finally dunk. It's been like so young it, and Duncan, like that was in the AAU game or middle school or it was like I think it was like at, at a practice at this middle school before. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it must be exciting. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of talk about your game a little bit as far as what I see as far as strengths and weaknesses, and then we'll kind of get to you know what you feel about your game. Um, I think you can handle it pretty well, and you move really well for a kid your size. You can shoot a little bit. You can put it on the floor. Um, pretty good athlete, you know, to this point, um, I think you're going to, you're going to add a little bit more burst and stuff, but with your size, you know, legit six, six, I don't really think the the burst is too important at this point. Um, I think you find, find teammates pretty well. Um, and you, you play pretty solid defensively, even that, you know, an all-star camp type setting, you know, like CP three. So, um, what do you think of that assessment? And you know, what's what's been like the biggest thing that you've been working on this summer? Uh, I've been working on like like more like better on ball defense and um like shooting more and and ball handle like to keep going trying to get my skills better. Who do you model your game after? Uh, like KD, Giannis, and LeBron. Hmm. Those are those are really good wings to model your game after for sure. Um, what, you know, this is your first year that you're coming into high school, but I believe you actually played on the high school team, um, last year. Um, you know, talk about some differences in the game at the high school level for both AAU and, you know, regular high school ball versus, you know, middle school and everything that came before it. Okay. So for me playing in seventh grade, playing middle school, then playing, um, eighth grade playing varsity was a big difference. Like, in middle school, I don't mean to be cocky, but in middle school, I feel like as I could like, like then I had to go as hard, like. But in high school, I had to like push myself and like do things I never did before, like mm-hmm. go like hard. But like right. me as for AAU, I like AAU better than like school, but I feel like it's more like freedom with playing basketball, stuff mm-hmm. like that. Okay, talk about a time that you faced adversity and some tools that you used to navigate through that time period. Uh, probably to say like like last year, um, like the second round of the playoffs when we played Eridu, like it was a good good game. Just had to like hit the second win, and keep going. Like we had to had to win the game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, talk about the difference in your role. Um, you know, between you know Wilson High School with high school ball. And you know your role and kind of what you do on the floor versus you know with the, with upward stars fifteen U group. Uh, for Wilson, I think my role is like bigger because I, I handle the ball more. Uh, and I feel like as an impact, I can do a lot of things. Like, wait, as as an impact on over, I could do a lot of things that like I could do better. I could do a lot of things on Wilson. I could do better than over. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like on over, I play the wing more. Like, I don't really handle the ball. But I could, but like, I leave that to the guards, like the point guards. Mm-hmm. Okay, who's the hardest you've ever been around? Hardest worker you've ever been around, and what have you kind of taken from you know their approach to the game and added it to, into yours? Uh, hardest worker, probably one of my teammates. His name is um Noah Angus. He um like every time we work out or like he always gets the net. He always just goes to the next rep, keep going. Like we're in the weight room, getting shots up, drills, so you just keep going. Okay. What's the best habit that you have in, in your daily routine? You know, tell me about your 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 gym schedule. What that uh, looks like. I'll be at the gym 24-7. Uh I go to the Florence MCA. I meet at the Florence MCA or I'm at Wilson. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much like like through the whole week. That's all I do really, in school work. Okay. Take me through one of your workouts. You know, do you start with ball handling stuff? Do you start with finishing stuff, shooting? What does that look like? So my workout will probably be starting off with like some mic and drills to get you warmed up. Okay. And I'll probably shoot like 10 free throws. And I'll get into some dribble pull-ups. 
and then probably move back to the three. Just like any of my workouts, I usually finish probably with ball head let in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good to do that burnout stuff, especially when your 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 tank's kind of running on empty at the end of a workout there. Um, what's a matchup that you look forward to the most, you know, right now? You know, it could be AAU, it could be high school, it could be at a camp. You know, what what's been the best matchup you've had in the past year? The best matchup I've actually had was at the CPT camp when I played against um I don't really know if I'm gonna pronounce his name right, uh, Baba. Baba, yeah. <laughs> That's a good matchup. That's a good matchup. Um, I, I think I tweeted something out to that effect, but um, I think you both could end up being, you know, in the top 25, top 30 of your of your class, you know, if things kind of continue to develop on the same trajectory. Um, you guys both have different games, but still a really high level, you know, for especially for your age group. Um, what do you do that you think makes you stand out from the competition? And, you know, how do you think you're going to contribute to winning at the high school level? I think I do like some things that people want like to do, like rebound the ball. I like rebounding. Like rebound is one of my greatest things in my game. Uh, mm. I like and I like diving on the floor and talking a lot. Mm. No, that's really good to hear, especially for a young young player, man. You definitely got to keep that rolling. Um, tell me a, a part of your game that you feel like flies under the radar a little bit, or is undervalued by you know people like me that that evaluate you. Uh, I think it's my passing. I, I think I'm a very good passer. Mm -hmm. Especially off the dribble, too. And I think that's important, um, especially at, at the, this stage in your career, um, that you're you're able to score, but then you're also able to use that scoring gravity to kind of create for teammates. It makes you a lot harder to guard. Um, that's definitely been one of the biggest contributing factors to the longevity of, of LeBron James' career, for sure. Um what parts of the floor do you feel the most comfortable at, you know, operating from right now and versus the least comfortable kind of some spaces you need to work from, you know, whether that's the wing, the top of the key corners, you know, talk about that. Uh, I usually like work from the wings cause like, there's more space and like, like as, as being six, six I play like big man, but like, I still had, I still got guard skills. So I feel like I was on the block. It's very easy for me, like to score off the off, off being on the block. Like that's one of my greatest strengths. And like I need to work on like shooting corner threes and like being being able to like drive and keep the ball from the corner, and make the extra pass. I think it's important too, you know, in in your development, especially if you're in the corner on the wing. If you swing the ball to the top of the key and then you face cut to just get an easy an easy, you know, backdoor layup. I think that that'll be, you know, really important because once you're able to add in that stuff um, that just frustrates the defense if, if they're not even able to stop you from getting the easy ones. Um, what are some things that you value, you know, not just on a basketball court, but in the relationships with people around you? Is it honesty? Um, is it, you know, hard work? Is it communication? Is it trust? You know, what, what are some things that are really important to you, you know, Josh, Josh Leonard as a person? Uh, it'd probably be either either trust or loyalty, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Talk about why. But I just feel like you should be able to, like, trust your friends. Like, you had it back and you have yours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, tell me about your interests and hobbies off the court. Um, you know, if basketball doesn't work out for you, um, if your career, you know, God forbid, ended tomorrow, um, what would your plan be? Um, I probably become a clothing designer, start my own brand. You said clothing designer? Yes, sir. I like like exploring a lot of things and doing a lot of stuff. Okay, so fashion is important to you. That's that's interesting. That's cool. Um, give me your goals for this season, both individual and as a team. Uh, this season for myself, uh, I want to accomplish the same thing I accomplished last year by making all state. Uh. And for as a team, state championship. Mm -hmm. Okay. What has been your happiest moment on a basketball court so far? Uh, uh when we played Rizzo, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. What? What? That was in the state championship. You said? Well, it was um in this the second or third. Isn't that like second second round of the playoffs? Okay, gotcha. You guys ended up coming away with that one. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay. 
Um, you got invited to the CP3 camp as well as Crossroads. Um, and I think there was one more, but um, talk about your mindset going into events like that. Um, you know, as far as, you know, what you're trying to show people you can do um, and, and as far as making statements kind of with your game in those settings. Uh, camps, people usually don't really pass the ball. So I just go in as a mindset, like, if I get a rebound, just push the ball and try to look for, like, all my options. Like, like you feel what I'm saying? Like, instead of, like, I don't really know how to, like, explain it. Like, instead of, like, just passing the ball for you, like, look for all my options. And then, like, if I don't have anything, pass the ball. Like, you feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I mean, there's there's definitely enough, enough people there that are just looking to score for, the sh- for, for sure. So, um, you know, game's tied, you know, 10 seconds left, ball's in your hands. What's your go-to move with the game on the line? I got a ball. Uh, you need a ball screen. What part of the floor are you on? You know, I'm, what? Def- I'm definitely um, on the top of the key. Uh, probably doing, like, between the legs, step back for the game. <laughs> From three in a tie game? Well, you better, or, you, or you said a tie game. Or yeah, tie game, tie I'm game. Probably, tie game. I'm, I'm probably getting to the basket if it's tie game. There you go. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get foul easy. <laughs> I was gonna say you might you you definitely need to make that shot if you're doing that with the tie game. All right, so two more questions and then we'll get you out of here. Um, rank these in 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 order of importance to you. Um, game winning assists, game winning basket, and game winning defensive stop. What's the most important to you? And then we'll work our way down from that. Uh, game winning defense is stop. Uh, game winning basket and game winning assist. Okay. Um, what are you looking, you know, we're obviously a long way away from it, you know, as you're, you're an incoming freshman. Um, what, what style of play, what type of school, what type of environment do you think you'll be looking at you know, for the next level, you know, when, when you make that decision, you know, f- you know, four years down the line here, uh, what are some things that you think you'll prioritize as far as like style of play, you know, what, what type of coaching works best for you, you know, whether, you know, you're, you're going to stay local, wh- whether you like to stay local versus kind of going um, across the country. Uh, what are you thinking there? It's like, I'm not school. I don't really know what school I want to go to yet. Like, it all depends really, but as a scripture, I want a team with like I want to be on a team that has a lot of um what's the word I'm looking for a lot of um I can't think of the word I can't think of the word. Are you thinking culture? Or what it would would? Well, no, nah, it's like I can't think of it. A lot of discipline. Oh my okay. gosh! Mm-hmm. Like I want us to be able to be disciplined, like still like win win a lot of games mm-hmm. and hopefully win like a championship. Okay. What sets your area apart from, you know, the basketball in different parts of the country? You know, what what can what can most people expect from, you know, a South Carolina basketball player? Mm, from a South Carolina basketball player, I mean, not many athletes have that play basketball have came out of South Carolina. Well, not really. But like you can expect this like to work hard and like try to get out of here for sure. hmm Okay. And last question, you know, before we get out of here, uh, really, you know, really appreciate the time today, you know, especially with, with school starting and all. Um, what is your why? You know, why do you why do you play the game of basketball? And why do you work so hard at it? You know, like you do. Why do you put all that time into it? Uh, I just want to make a better life for my family. My mom, uh, make a name for myself outside of basketball also. Mm-hmm. 100 percent. And then. The last question I'll ask you actually is, you know, I got to speak with, you know, a gentleman that kind of helps out, you know, with coaching at your school and stuff like that. Um, talk about the different kind of path that, you know, he he and your mother kind of have mapped out for you as far as, you know, keeping you away from things and, and keeping you focused, you know, locked in on the dream. And, and, and you know, that, that requires a lot of sacrifice on your part. Um, you know, talk about the kind of the focus and the preparation, um, and the desire that you have to kind of play basketball at a high level. Uh, like it, it's from like working out at like six a.m. to working out right after school. A lot of things like not going places. A lot of things that my mom has like actually taught me to like take a step back, and understanding like why I'm doing certain things, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, you know, really appreciate the time and, you know, look forward to watching your career. Like I said, we got, we got four years to go here. It's going to be a lot of fun watching you play, watching you develop, but I, I sincerely think that you have a chance to be, you know, one of the better players in your class, you know, as long as the, the upward trajectory continues, but that, that involves you not, you know, resting on your laurels and, and getting uh, complacent. So really appreciate the time and we'll keep in touch. Yes, sir.